Welcome back to the show. You know what time it is. It's time for a video about therapy. You saw the title. My experience being a therapist so far. Let's get right into it. You know, I started off very idealistic. And I made videos about that on this channel. How stoked I was and I felt I was making a difference. Very proud of myself. And I do still feel some of those things. But not really being supported by the administration that I work for. You know, no one seems to give a crap about me, despite me giving my all to the clients. And I know that the experience of being a therapist or a counselor is like this pretty much for everybody who does it. In my research into therapy of what clients say, I've been watching videos on YouTube here, you know, things like um, how to tell when you have a bad therapist, negative experiences with therapy. What I've gathered and gleaned is as follows, having a therapist that talks about themselves a ton, or only talks about themselves, clients for very good reason, hate that. They're there to talk about themselves. Secondly, a lot of agenda pushing, giving too much advice of their thoughts. Anyway, there's a bunch. And what's interesting is, as I continue to do this profession, I find myself not necessarily falling into these traps. Talking about oneself is called self-disclosure in therapy. And it should always be done for a purpose, to relate to the client. For example, they may have a very negative relationship with their parents, and I do too, to a degree, and that's something that I can share with them in the efforts of relating and connecting and helping them out, right? It makes the world a little less bad and scary if someone else has the same issue. Self-disclosure needs to be used sparingly. I once had a therapist named Megan. Great lady, pretty hot. But she would say, Jay, I rarely self-disclose. Or I would never self-disclose. But I'm going to tell you this. And I remember that because I don't necessarily like that attitude either. You know, you shouldn't rarely self-disclose. You should maybe do it once in a session. Just a short brief. Oh, you know what? I had that same problem too. And yeah, right. But don't go on and on about it. Megan was saying, you know, she might do it, I don't know, once every few months with a client, with me, when I saw her. And being a therapist now, I think she should have shared not necessarily some more of her own experiences, but more of her own thoughts. But yes, experiences. We are at the very same place where I made that video about Jesus Christ and why was he killed. A lot less windy today though. So being a therapist clearly causes burnout. What I am talking about here, what I'm experiencing, I called in sick to work yesterday. It was your classic mental health day. I wasn't able to sleep the night before really. I have a couple things going on in my personal life, but I was just mostly pissed off at the organization. You got people left and right always taking time off and I don't care that they've been there for years. You know, I've been there five months now and I refuse to be new. I'm not new anymore. The other thing is, in, with, in trying to uphold the standards of client care, I think I've pissed off my coworkers. Because God forbid a man should be stern and have boundaries and practice what he preaches. And, you know, I really am not an asshole. But when you stand up for anything, when you believe in anything in this world, you are labeled as such. When you're consistent and apply rewards and yes, punishments to clients and your children, not that I have any, Daddy, you're an asshole. And Daddy knows what's best for you. He's going to teach you. So being a therapist, you know, I wrote this whole long resignation draft on my Gmail. I knew I wasn't going to send it. 
I deleted it. And my life could have gone that way. It's very much close to quitting my job in the last couple days. For reasons I won't get into. But some of which is aforementioned here. I had a nice comment the other day that was like, Hey, you have a gift for podcasting, YouTubing? I want to say thank you to that commenter. Sorry, I don't have your username. You know who you are. You're one of the only people who ever leaves a comment. But, you know, being a therapist, it's very difficult and it's very easy at the same time. Why is it very difficult? Because listening to people guiding a conversation, always saying the right and helpful thing, being able to assess them and their personality within seconds of meeting them, being able to help them without offending them. I could go on. Why is it easy? Because you're just sitting there talking. I want to continue with the profession. I don't know if I want to do it at my current organization. I do have leverage there. I get the sense that they do not want me to leave, and I don't want to leave either, because as a counselor, when you leave your clients, you do them great harm. And this is something that I will have to reconcile with. I was thinking it might be better just to go on and get a master's in education and become a teacher, because you can work with those kids all year. And don't get me wrong, I don't really want to be a teacher. This is more of a, an analogy. You can work with those kids all year, and then say bye-bye. You get a new batch the next year. You don't have to worry about quitting on them because they're just going to graduate out of that grade level. In conclusion, these are my thoughts on being a therapist. And, uh, you know, counseling gets a bad rap because there's a lot of bad therapists, I guess. Some of you guys have been to counseling. Have you had any positive experiences? Leave a comment. I never ask for comments. There are good ones. I am a good one. Question becomes, do I want to do it? Because I'm not going to do it at my own personal expense. I'm not going to care about these however many people. I don't know how many clients I have. 50, 100? I'm not going to care about them more than myself because that would be poor boundaries. Poor self-care. So, I'm in a very smelly place of the yeah, it smells here, so I'm going to go. By the way, this is just outside Hoquiam. See you guys later.